Guys, can't believe I'm this stupid. So I literally made the video for the Judah beat, and then I I was editing it, and then I fucking realized that for the second half of the video, I was muted the entire time. So then I was like, oh okay, not a big deal, right? So let me just re let me just record it. So I did that, right? And then I I I saw the the files. I deleted the the previous videos because I thought I didn't need them. Uh uh, no uh oh, whoopsies. Uh oh. I fucking went to the editing shits and then guess what it said media not found it, I deleted my video and I was like bruh because I was confused that about the it, it couldn't find my audio because I did I did I fucking hooked it up so I'm gonna redo this so what's going on boys it's your boy sway flow I was supposed to I'm doing a uh, how to make a Judah type beat so I guess second video of, of me trying to do it you know it's deleted but it's okay so Judah first off is a fire ass artist Number one, if you didn't know, he produces and engineers his own beats and his own songs. That right there is, is, oh my God, right? Number two, the beats that he uses in the genre that he makes is like very, it's kind of hard to recreate, but at the same time, not, not really because he makes like a, like a, like demon, not demon, but like, like very aggressive, hard ass beats. I'm gonna make a string beat. Okay. Just for that, for strings beat, for a string beat, you're going to go to flex. Okay. And you want to go center strings and then choose any of these strings. I think I went to the uh, staccato. No, I went to the sustain. Yeah, I went to the sustain. So that's that's the first thing I did, okay? And then I already recorded the second half because I went through it. So I'll, I'm going to plug that in. Okay, so I'm just doing the intro for this right now. So yeah, I, I went to 140 for a good Judah type beat. Go to for at least... For a good Judah beat, go for at least 140 to 150, I would say. I would say 140. Nah, nah, nah. I would say 140 to 120. Anything between that is a good, it's a good tempo for his style. But honestly, you guys can make it whatever. I, I prefer 140. I think it's like a good, nice chill, you know, good speed for him. So, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a quick rundown of what I did. So you saw me do the strings and this is the strings. Okay, I fixed it up and this is what it sounds like. Yeah, so that's the strings. And then what I did is I added some drums. I did this hi-hat first. So after the hi-hats, I added this rim shot. And uh, I like that echo shit, the, the reverb that it gives out. And that's what I wanted. And then I added another hi-hat and I panned it to the right. The strings. And then of course, the most important ingredient of the whole beat the 808 i got this hard 808 from the from the some meek some meek drum kit volume one number eight and what i did is of course i normalized it made it to a box cut itself normalize and then make sure it's mine and then i added some effects Cut the lows, cut the highs. I, added, I cut a little bit of the lows. Then I added drip. And I went to the... Oh, no, I didn't add drip, actually. Fuck that shit. And then I added overdrive. Turn up the post filter. And then wave shelter. Uh, wave... Wave shelter. Wave shaper. I added that. And then this, this, this is how it sounds. This is with them. And then with the effects. See how big of a difference that is? And now with the whole beat together, it's like this. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Had a, I'm not done yet. I'm not done. Then I added, um, I think I added a vocal or a choir. 
Yeah, I did. I added a choir for the counter melody. Which one? It goes on one note. And then that, for the second part, I added another note, which is a higher octave. Sounds like this. Then after I added another counter melody, which is like this little buzz sound, this little flute sound. It sounds like a like an alert. It sounds like an alert kind of. So it's a flute, but what I did is I added hella effects. I added EQ. I cut hella blows. Then I added reverb, then delay. Okay, and then then. Then I added a third hi-hat. Which is go it which goes all over the place, but it's a crispy hi hat. Like I said, remember in my other videos, I usually add three, sometimes four, and it's just one that comes on the beat on the when it hits on down on the beat. And this I pan them to the right, and which very different velocities. Um. Yeah, that's what I did with these hi hats. Then I added another rim shot, which hits on this rim shot, so that as this echoes, it gives you more of a hard click or a hard, uh, a hard hit. So this is the rim shot by itself. And this is with, with the other rim shot. So then it makes it hit harder and then of course the other secret sauce is that fat kick you need that fat kick but it is added kick from the same drum kit put the volume in the miscellaneous functions folder quick sure that the volume is at least to 120 if you press this tab up oh remember make sure your limiter is off okay okay make sure that shit is off Number one rule. And then, what you gotta do is turn the volume up to hit that shit harder. Uh, make sure you have it normalized, and if you want, you can put reverse priority. And then, you make you go to your your mix, make a mono. I, I added a sound gooderizer, and then I put a EQ on it so I can EQ some of the the lows and then the highs. Cause I don't want that little the little high frequencies in there. And then this is how it sounds like. So, with everything together, this is how the beat sounds entirely. Like I said, my dumbass still new to this, right? I don't. I forgot that I muted the entire half second of the video. Like I did that shit twice. So yeah, like I said, I'm still new to this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys did, please leave a like. Please subscribe. I'm trying to upload as best as I can. I'm as consistent as I can. You know, I get checked a lot. I don't know. I don't know what. Um, I don't know what other ideas to do. So if you get, if you guys have any ideas, any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And this is the full beat. Follow. There's my link. My my social media links are down below. And yeah, make sure you follow me on SoundCloud. Uh, for my beat store if you want any beats. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Hey, wait, hold on a second. Hold on.